All right. So what's up? I'm here with my man JBX. Yes, sir. Y'all international here. trader. <laughs> cool plan, cool plan. Yeah, there was one of my coworkers, and he was just, he was like, "Who you who you doing a podcast with?" And I was telling me, "It's oh, it's an international trader." Yep. That's so what's up, man. first of all, I feel like a lot of people get confused in terms. Can you explain to people what's the difference between investing and trading? All right. So I get that question a lot, to be honest. And I'll be lazy. I don't even answer people. But the difference between investing and trading is when you're investing, you're investing long term, right? And when you're investing into something, the value needs to go up for you to make money. So let's say you buy a house, right? The price needs to go up for you to be in profit. You buy a car, you need to go up for you to make money versus when you're trading you're making money if it's going down or if it's going up mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so i could like get in a trade and just like make a quick 10 bucks because it goes up and then bang it's about to go down make another then 10 bucks. you you sell the stock exactly. right as soon as you start seeing that it's going down it's time to be to hop off the boat and you sell it yeah that's what it is right yeah basically it's that so with my methods, I'm able to know exactly when and where it's about to go up, how long it's going to go up, how long it's going to go down, when it's going to go down. That's why I always get in my trades like at a perfect timing. And anybody that trades with me, you know, they'll tell you, my shit goes blue right away, every single time, you know. So blue screen factory. And what makes it that you're good enough to analyze the stocks that are when they're going down and when they're going up? Like, to be honest... It's really all because of my methods. Like, my guys will tell you, we went out, but this was a crazy story, bro. We went out for a chalet, right? Me and my two six guys. So it was just there chilling, having a good time, everything, having fun, getting lit. And, like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, we was gonzo, bro. Like, gonzo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was mad funny. And I had brought in my notebook with me, bro. This notebook is golden, bro. There's so many notes there taken from, like, millionaire traders literally over six figure earners for network marketers like the top people in the world that like broke records but i've i've been in the same house as a lady that made a hundred k in literally one day off not even trading just off networking on her own so that's like and how did she make that just off networking just off residual income right so when you get signups it brings you to a certain rank with the company and What's they a sign pay up? you explain sign up so like it's a uh, an academy right okay so you get to learn how to trade and you have access to live signals and live trading sessions so that's what makes people make money before they learn how to trade right so let's say somebody random for example right that has no idea what trading is nothing you just seen my story so like oh damn this guy's making money bro i'm yeah, trying to yeah. make money too how do I do it? Ah, oh, damn. Got to learn how to trade. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make money right now. So they help in. They sign up, right? They get access to all the group chats, all the live sessions with master traders, right? And then they'll literally just tell you what to do, when to trade, when to get out, when to get in. And then you secure your profits so that as you're making money, right? Getting your money back on what you invested, what you spent, you're learning the skill at the same time. Because think about it this way. If you go to school, right, uh, the average person that goes to school to, like, university spends about 50K in, like, Quebec. You spent 50K, how much money did you make? Mm -hmm. You know how much people make over 100K in Canada? 1% of the population. That's 100K before the taxes. So 100K before the taxes, that's, like, 30K, right? So you have, like, 30K left to yourself. Now, 30K for a whole year, you got kids to feed, right? Because when you're older, you got your family to take care of, nah, nah. You got expenses, you got food. AK wants to play sports, right? You got that to pay for. You got gear, nah, nah. Trips, vacations. That 30K is gone hella quick. You ain't even, you ain't even spent, like, food on McDonald's yet or, like, Yeah, you know? for sure. So forget about vacation or all that with that 100K. So keep in mind, that's only 1% of the population that's making over that in Canada. So, like no matter what you're doing overall school doesn't guarantee you a successful life it's it guarantees you a good life like an average life right like you'll be able to like eat 
and you know survive but not live life no definitely not people be saying like oh I want to go on vacations I want to go on trips travel the world you're not going to do that but that's the thing with school in general they they kind of set you up to be average oh they definitely they, do they make you a soldier they make you a soldier of their little frame definitely and that's do. why we, that's why I got you on right now because mm-hmm. you're making your own shit yeah. that's why I got, I got other people on that start their own businesses because mm-hmm. it's people like that 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 understand how this works yeah it's like you want to you want to live for yourself do do this shit by yourself exactly i always say when there's a will there's a way right i'm gonna give you an example your mom calls you right now tells you i'm at the hospital your phone is dead you have no money in your bank account right none of your friends could pick you up and you're like hella far away i promise you you're gonna find a way to get to the hospital right Mm -hmm. because you're gonna put your mind to it when there's a will there's a way and a lot of people don't understand that and they keep trying to find excuses i said no i'm not like it's oh, always excuses i want to like, be rich i want to do this uh the videos are too long um trading is you know it's, it's too risky what you're literally investing the pair of air force ones into yourself you know like if you buy a pair of air force ones you're not thinking like oh i'm gonna get my money back right i'm gonna get my 100 dollars back no nah, the minute you buy those shoes that that money's gone is gone. Nobody's reselling a pair of regular white and Air Force Ones. The value of especially a white Air Force One is not going up. It is actually going. <laughs> the minute you leave the store, the value went down. For sure. Literally. So people are so scared to invest. And the reason why and invest in is not necessarily about in stocks or cryptos. By the yourself. way, we're gonna get in cryptos later. Yeah. But um it's in yourself exactly. So buying with like group chats mm-hmm. or just having a network of people who knows what they're doing it's an investment for yourself Literally. yeah you're paying this money to come to learn but with this learn like what jay-z said like i'm not gonna give you a 99 grand i'm gonna give you a million dollar game for 9.99 exactly exactly that's what a lot of people don't understand like you people are ready to throw away so much money into schools when you don't even know what you're doing like if you're going to school and you know you want to be a doctor then okay fine you know exactly what you're doing but if you're going to school just to go to school you're wasting your time literally you're wasting your time because no one in there keep in mind if there's one percent of the population making over 100k how are those teachers supposed to teach you how to be successful I when swear. they're living miserable lives themselves they can't go on vacation when they want because they gotta warn their boss three weeks in advance yeah like, oh yeah i might go on vacation and they gotta ask permission that's why it's funny even like in uh business management classes mm-hmm. so sometimes there'll be a teacher who who used to have own business or everything mm-hmm. but most of the time they act they don't teach you how to own their business they exactly. teach you how to be like the marketing branch of that right and it's people who's never been their own bosses telling you how to be their own bosses exactly it's like a dating coach it's like you can teach by a virgin dating coach <laughs> that's pretty much what it is Low so key. and le- let's go back to networking mm-hmm. when you when you went around those people that you're talking about that lady who, who makes 100k a, a day right well this day or whatever she did mm-hmm. how did you get in contact with those people this is literally because i started to get noticed for my skills right mm-hmm. so getting flown out there was quite an experience you know i went from la to atlanta then international Flor- trip. <laughs> <laughs> then florida we saw we saw a lot of different things different people different ways of thinking and the key to that is always like learning from different people right because if you go into something and you have your own mindset and you don't adjust you'll never elevate right because for growth there needs to be change for sure caterpillar is not going to turn into a butterfly if it doesn't change you know what i'm saying so a lot of people skip that step they want just the growth with no change you're not gonna have different results you know what they call that they call that insanity trying to have different results doing the same thing over and over and over again you're not gonna get rich working your nine to five over and over again it, you're trading time for money you know what i'm saying it makes no you're sense. actually working for money and you don't make that money work for you exactly. it sounds kind of cheesy but it is what it is it though, is at this and point. the way the system is built is you want to you want to make more money work more hours mm-hmm. you work more hours you get taxed more 
it's literally built in for you to stay stuck in that system and the reason people are scared is because you have 1k in your account you have your phone bill to pay you have let's say like um you know food and stuff la nah, nah. you barely have like 200 dollars left so that 200 dollars you're trying to protect it at all costs and you're so scared to invest it's like damn what if i have zero in my account left what if this and nah, 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 nah. but people don't understand that the worst thing that could happen is you lose that money that you put in but the money that you put in is the equivalent of buying a pair of Air Force Ones. Exactly. Are you gonna be hesitant when you're buying that pair of Air Force Ones? Or I know so many girls, bro, so many girls that are dead broke with a Louis Vuitton bag. That don't make no sense, bro. Like, you went and spent that much money after working so and many hours. And you're going hours. out with one of them. And what did she want to order? Oh, this steak. Or oh, this steak. It's like. <laughs> oh, this man's spitting facts, too. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, people don't have their priorities straight. And that fear that is drilled into your head, right? Because society brings you into those levels, right? All your life, you're, you're, you're thought that, okay, you need to go to school. You need to get your diploma and then get a good job. Then work for like bare time. And then after that, retire, have some money saved up and then live your life. Who's trying to live their life at like 50, 65? Bro? That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? You want to be paying back, always constantly paying bills. Like, people are talking about, yo, it makes no sense that a 800K crib should be paid over 30 years if you're a successful person. And like you said, right, those business classes and everything. How is somebody that is not successful going to teach me how to be successful? Show me a receipt. Like, <laughs> Nah, that's why I'm saying it. people are wasting their time in schools because also but at the that, same time I feel like it depends who you are if exactly. you have that drive in yourself because like and we talk about drive it's not about drive at some point it becomes discipline because mm-hmm. I'm sure 100% 102% there's morning you don't want to be hustling you don't want to be grinding all day you, you, you lay down but bro it's discipline See, it's the, like I have to do it so I'm going to do it the thing, the thing with that I love that you brought that up right you know like, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. The thing is that in a certain position that you place yourself, you allow yourself to do that, right? Because if I woke up at 8 in the morning, right, and I already made, like, three bands in, like, five minutes, I go right back to sleep and sleep in, right, and then wake up at, like, 11, go do my training, come back, go to the gym, chill with my guys all day, go play basketball, come back, chill, nah, nah, because I already made way more than if I would have spent the whole day at work, you know what I'm saying? So whatever you decide to do, you don't necessarily have to trade or whatever. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, if you don't trade, nah, nah, nah. You could do whatever you, you want. You find your own way. Just, I just, I just, as long as you're working towards living life, right? Because life is not about working. When you're going to be on your deathbed, you're not going to be saying, oh, damn, I wish I worked more. Nah, you're going to be saying, I wish I spent more time with my family. I wish I traveled the world more. I wish I saw more things. And what allows you to do that, unfortunately, it's a sad reality, but it's money. Exactly. It's and money. some people, it's, it's funny to me how people are going to be like, oh, fuck capitalism. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. I understand. At some point, yeah, fuck capitalism. We're slaves. Yeah. But this is the video game we're living in. Might as well accept it. or tr- Like, bro, Literally. you're not going to get away from it. It's Unless you want to live, live on the jungle, some Minecraft literally, pr- literally. primitive shit. You, either, you know, you live in a jungle, like the old times with no Wi-Fi, no internet, no nothing. And you live in your own little, little like hut, right? And you separate yourself from the world, like, you know, different countries in Africa or like all over the world. There's a lot of like tribes like that, that exist, right? That just separate themselves. They don't have iPhones, electricity, none of that. They live like we used to live. But if you're not trying to live like that and you want to live the way you want to live and not have people, you know, direct your choices, because, for example, the borders are closed, right? You can't fly out and everything. Who's going to tell you where you can't fly if you have your own private jet? No one. You got you got to stay home in quarantine, right? You can't have people over. Who's going to tell you you can't have your family over if you're living on your own island in your mansion? You think the police is going to take a boat to go to your island? No. You know what I'm saying? But people 
be so scared to dream big because it's reality. At the end of the day, there is somebody that's living there, that's living that life with their own island or not. The only thing that could stop you is yourself. It's literally the only thing that could stop you is yourself because it's been done before. It's not like, oh, it's a dream. No, nah, no, nah. it may happen, it may not. It's happened before. So if it did, why wouldn't you be able to do it, you know? Your problems or whatever is going on in your life or whatever, it could always be used as an excuse or as a reason to push yourself. You, I'm sure you've heard the story of the two brothers that had the same father, right? One father was abusive, alcoholic, nah, nah. One brother turned out to be a successful rich man and the other turned out to be an alcoholic. You know what they both said? My father was an alcoholic. One used it to push himself, the other used it as an excuse. Bro, I just, I just, you gave me chills, man. <laughs> nah, that's some real shit. That's what I be doing, bro. See, that notebook is just filled with that. So there's a lot. There's a lot coming. Like, I'm about, the way I'm about to do this shit, bro, I'm about to do it like nobody else. Bro. Like, for real, for real. The I'm, world is ours. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not coming here to just be a regular rich nigga. I'm coming here to produce rich niggas. Like, literally. Nobody's going to be able to do what I do in the way that I do it as efficient and as quick as I do it. No one. Literally no one. I went to the States and couldn't find no one. Literally. It's just like a bomb that's about to go out. For real. Yo. You read books? Of course. Of course. Always. Since I was a little kid, bro. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Since I was... Bro, you know you know the, the Spiderwick collection? Yeah. Bro, I finished that in a week. Okay, Literally, okay. You was a like reader, nine. reader. Yeah. yeah, it took me time to get... Even then, it's like, it's in phase. And at some point, you understand it's just... What, what kind of books you read, though? Everything. Personal development, stories, like, uh, biographies. I read Ray Lewis's autobiography, you know? A lot of stuff to learn from. Because literally, knowledge is power, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an example. If a cop stops me off some bullshit, right, and I don't know my laws, I'm fucked. But if I know my laws and I start stating, oh yeah, article number 39, no, 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 no. He starts shitting his pants because he's like, oh, I can't mess with this guy. He knows what he's talking about, you know? And people, why do you think people get away with stuff? Because they use the fact that people aren't, you know, in knowledge of the laws. They're, they're going to be like, or for example, when you're buying something, right? The fine print and stuff, people don't read. That's why they get finesse, they lose money, or they do this and that because they don't read in between the lines. They don't take that extra time. Like, for example, how many times did you buy something that you had to build and you didn't even look at the thing, right? The instructions. I, I can say it too for myself, right? But it's made specifically for you not to yeah, do it. Yeah, exactly. So that if something happens, you don't even know that you have the right to reclaim it. Like, there's so many people that don't get their food on Uber Eats or something like that. They have to click one button and they literally get their money right right back to their account. But because they didn't read that part, they're like, oh, damn, I just lost money, no, nah, no. Nah. That's why you got to educate yourself. That doesn't necessarily mean going to school, just working on yourself it, constantly. Especially with how you get programmed. It's the, we, we, we associate education with school. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you educated? Oh, what school did you go to? No, exactly. no, I read books. No, I live life. Exactly. I, I instruct myself. I don't need your establishment to educate myself. Mm -hmm. Educate myself. A hundred percent, bro. 100%. And how do you think in some... Because, like, me, I was never a reader as a young man. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, I hated reading. Like, I was the guy searching, like, uh, summaries on the uh, fucking internet for my exams and shit. Oh, and at yeah, some yeah, point, that. you get that, like, <laughs> bro, this is actual knowledge. And by reading, like, just three books, you feel like... You learned way more than three semesters in school. For sure. So it's For like, sure. bro, where can I go with this? And what like advice would you give someone who's not into reading mm -hmm. to get that discipline of like instead of like picking up their phone and just scrolling on Instagram for nothing, bro, pick up a book. Or just an audio book. Like yeah. what would you tell someone like that for like a discipline switch? For a discipline switch, to be honest, I don't even have a speech or none of that for like discipline because at the end of the day, like I said before, when there's a will, there's a way. So my people, I always make them, you know, tell me their goals, right? So that I could hold you accountable for it. So for example, in my situation, right? I want to make sure my family's right. You know, my grandma and everything, all my friends, 
and stuff. So keep going. I'm just uh, yeah. So keeping that in mind, it's like I just want to make sure that if I'm tired or whatever, I constantly remind myself, okay, but is that extra two hours of sleep worth it? Or if I'm staying up, you know, helping that person, not, not seeing the bigger picture and working towards my goal. And then I get just get right back to it, you know, but some people don't have that vision. It's just like when I'm training and I'm training, I don't, you know, I'm not doing ladder drills for fun. I'm doing ladder drills because I'm thinking, I'm seeing on the field, okay, damn, when I'm gonna be on that field in that game situation that there's gonna be that running back coming towards me, my feet are gonna be quicker than his, so I know I'm gonna make the play. And that's what I see every single time I do the drills. When I get tired, I'm like, okay, just gotta keep pushing through, no, nah, no. Nah. And you have to have that same attitude in everything that you do. So you don't need motivation. You just need accountability. So if you say you're going to do something, just do it, literally. Because it's the only, the only person that's in control is you. Like, my grades in school at some point were just terrible because, like, I just didn't care about school, right? But when it got to a point where I had hella college offers and I needed to graduate to, you know, go away. Let home, me guess. Went up. Literally. Because then you had the motivation and you knew why you were doing this. Exactly. And my whole life, right, my mom's always been, like, pressuring me with school and stuff, you know. Not necessarily pressuring me, but, like, being on top of my shit, you know. Like, oh, you got to do this. No, nah, no. Nah. Sitting me down at the table, making me do my homework and study. But that wouldn't work. Like, I'd just, like, stare at my paper until she fell asleep and then just go to sleep and not give a fuck. But when I wanted it, when I told myself, yo, if you don't pass... You're not going to play football in college. Bro, I promise you that year in sec five, I was not outside for the whole year. The only time you'd see me outside is if there was a fight. Living, <laughs> no cap. <laughs> bro, I was not outside, bro. If you wanted to chill with me, you had to be in that classroom with me getting that extra help with the teacher. I was getting 80s and 90s, and I was still getting that extra help up until the last day of the exam, and then I passed my shit and just got it done by any means, you know? Told myself, fuck all the chilling, because why do I want to be chilling if, like, what is that chilling going to bring to me at the end if I don't even pass my exam? Short-term satisfaction. Exactly. People, people tend to not see the bigger picture, and that's why they get so confused. Because it's not, it's not even, sometimes it's not even character. Sometimes it's confusion, because you're focusing your energy on something else. Mm -hmm. If you're focused on a closed door, you're not gonna see the open window. Exactly. Like the way I, the way I like to see it, and I tell a lot of people this, and um, actually, yeah, it changed the way I think as a whole. Is there's no such thing as time. You're already dead. Mm -hmm. So that's what, when manifestation comes in. Mm -hmm. Let's say, I don't say like, oh, I'll be a million. No, I'm a millionaire. Mm -hmm. It just. I'm just not there yet in my video game, mm -hmm. but I already know I'm going there. Mm -hmm. So I'm a millionaire. Right. So it's to, to see this shit as like a long-term, I would say video game because I like yeah. to see it as a video game, Fact. but a long-term video game. So if I'm already dead, I'm also already 50. So why would I be wasting my time at doing some like, not superficial, but um, instant gratification mm -hmm. bullshit right now right. when it's going to damage me right now because exactly. i'm 52 you know you butterfly know what I'm effect you know you know like i'm sure you've seen that already right the butterfly that goes onto somebody's face and then that person is like blinded bumps into somebody else that drops their coffee on somebody else that runs away because the coffee is burning them and boom they get hit by a car all that because of a butterfly right that's why they call it the butterfly, butterfly effect. effect so that's in anything that you do in life. That's why I'm grateful for everything. Everything bad that happened to me, I don't consider it like bad. Everything you in life- learn from it. Lesson or a blessing, right? Mm -hmm. Because if it didn't happen, literally every single detail in your life up until right now- You would never be who you are right now. Exactly, every single detail. That's why I'm grateful for everything, always. People you've got attached to that you shouldn't have, be situation you've got to attach that you shouldn't have, brought you to who you are right now so like going back do the same shit because my, my even biggest elevation was literally losing one of my closest friends like 
felt that year that you know it's it's crazy just just talking about it like makes me feel some type of way but when that happened when you know you get done dirty by somebody that's in your inner core right somebody that's been to your house somebody that's met your family nah nah that shit changes you fucks you up and it it gets you rethinking like am i really the one that fucked up or like and then you start like you start overthinking shit like crazy and you're like damn like what about my other friends what if you know mm-hmm. and then i can really it, it starts fucking you up but then you get to a point where you just never know so you can't you can't have that 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 judgment on other people right because if you watch a movie right let's say movies is a huge category right so you watch one movie and you don't like it does that mean you're not gonna like any other movie right there's horror movie there's funny movies there's action movies you can't base your judgment off of one person so i can't come up to somebody new and act like a bitch because oh the last person i talked to did me dirty you know what i'm saying people people be having that toxic mentality that oh i got hurt so shit this it's raps for anybody else new that coming in my life you just gotta always keep your heart at the right place and give people that same effect because that's easy to say but at some point like it's hard to sub- do subliminal like you have to work on yourself for that coping okay. mechanism yeah. like i got hurt that way this is not happening again so mm. you block yourself from yeah. like, it happening again no nah, it's 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 something you really have to work it took me almost a year but it's something you really have to work on yourself and that's something nobody could teach you that's something it's really you versus you you know that's that's the definition of fighting your demons right literally that a lot of people don't understand that but yeah it's, this stuff changes you bro like it really it really does and that's why i'm saying i'm grateful for every single every single thing bro i literally almost died like two weeks ago got in a car accident and everything but that same day got home wrote bare things on my notebook started two new methods and everything and i would have not had that idea what's the new methods Nah, the new methods is just like, like two separate plans, you know, on how I'm going to be running shit and how everything's going to like fall in place, you know, but I just had to like write it down because the way I have, the way my thought process works is I envision something, right? So I like think about it and I see it, then I visualize it so that it's clear. And then I overthink it, right? So I think about, okay, this is a good idea. Now, what's the worst case scenario, you know? And then I do that times 10, and then I do that times 10, and then I find a solution for that. And once I find a solution for that, then it's a plan, right? Because if you find a solution for the worst case scenario times 10 times 10, nothing scares you because you know that you won't fail. You know what I'm saying? It's like if, it's like if a basic ass example, right? you have you have to take the bus right and you have you have ten dollars you're like damn what's the worst that could happen right you lose a couple of change but you still have more than 325 so you know that no matter what even if you lose some change you'll still have enough to take it and even if you only have 325 you have a transfer so you know you could come back that's calculating the worst case scenario times 10 times 10 finding a solution and then getting a plan with that so everything that i do like literally calculated to the second is calculated in that way like all my life decisions when it comes to people when it comes to what i'm about to eat when it comes to what way i'm thinking when i'm coming back home like every little detail of my life is planned like that that's why that's why i tell people i just can't fail i can't i swear i can't mentality the way you think gonna project back to you exactly the only one who could beat me is me literally the only mm. one who could beat me is me it's been bars we're going to get near a conclusion i would have loved to keep going we're gonna mm. do a part two if you don't oh, bro for sure bro because we gotta go but um okay let's say there's someone right now and we're not even talking about trading mm. it's just he or she or they don't do shit mm. they just go like whatever their family tells them they should do or like people around them they just follow the flow they're like they're not their own person what would you tell that person 
like as a advice to and not, not necessarily about money about anything just about life yeah yeah just life in general like to be honest my only advice would be tap into yourself spiritually right like mm, bro set. we doing a part two we gonna <laughs> get out that spiritual shit too <laughs> yeah for sure for sure but yeah tap into yourself spiritually just step back you know put your phone down put your tv down put the media down put even your family bro your you meditate friends. yeah for sure oh we doing a part every two. single day bro. so you know just set back and literally i would say meditate but some people don't know that yet so i'd say step back and then once you're alone right know that you're alone but you're never lonely right you're connected with yourself right you're tapping in to your own spiritual powers so anything that you tell yourself you could do it because the fears that you get the same fears that you give yourself is coming from you right if you're overthinking about the past the past is an illusion it's your own memory of the past like let's say you went to the corner store right and you bought a juice and you remember it it's not actually how it happened it's the way you remember it like somebody might have been stealing in that store and you didn't even see it but that happened but it wasn't your reality because you didn't see it so your memory of that event is fake because it's an illusion in your head and the future is you predicting what's about to happen you thinking like oh it might happen this way it might happen that way no nah, no nah. so that's also an illusion so when people are scared about like oh my god what if i don't do this if i don't graduate from school oh my god i'm not gonna have money i'm not gonna do these are all illusions that they're putting into their head visualizing it and that channels bad energy which reflects on their life right because they're always going to be stressed about stuff they can't control you can only control how you react to something right for example if it's hella hot outside right hella hella hot I'm not gonna put the temperature down on like earth right but what you could do is say okay i'm gonna stay inside in the ac or i'm gonna go to the pool or i'm gonna wear a tank top or like there's ways to adjust with it and you control that or you could be damn it's oh, hella man, hard it's hot. Nah, Fuck. Nah. and then let it ruin your day yeah exactly right? drink water stay hydrated literally no but for real stay hydrated drink juice never mind what i said scratch that juice yeah drink juice fuck water Why juice man? bro juice is the source of life bro remember i said natural that. juice yeah yeah natural juice okay okay <laughs> <laughs> all juice all juice <laughs> no, sorry, fuck water. pause but uh hey yo that was respect for coming so, bro, bro we doing the talk part too soon yo so that was a talk with come. jbx hope you enjoyed and uh peace out two six